Maximum continuous output of 115 decibels. This is a giant subwoofer and today we're going to see what's inside of it. You may have seen our family channel video where we toured our entire smart home and a big part of it was these speakers that we got from True Audio. I mean, look at this thing, it's massive. This is a subwoofer and it has two different subwoofer speakers on it. One thing that's cool is that this is put on by magnets. There's no like holes for this to go into. Retail value for one of these is $5,000. This one box has two 12 inch speakers with a 700 watt amp that is inside of it. And it's just solid, it doesn't feel like wood. It, I don't know what kind of material this is. All of the different controls on the outside are right here. And even to lift it up, oh my gosh, this thing, this has to be close to 80 or 100 pounds just wow. for the speaker. We have three of these inside of our house. True Audio partnered with us for this video and for the speakers inside of our house and they gave us one of their extra ones that had some issues with it that they didn't want to sell it to the public. This is a speaker right here that works. Oh, that's connected to our house system. It's so loud. It's like everything is shaking. Wow, you could hear those shaking. That was like banging against the wall. That's what that was. Everything was shaking, like the walls, these different things. We should probably secure them better on the wall because they're shaking like crazy. I've never heard bass like that in my life. Like maybe at a concert when you have all those giant subwoofers. <laughs> This speaker is officially 110 pounds. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. This excavator is perfect. Okay, put it over there, Lincoln. Yeah, that thing is huge. Hey, Bobby. Morning, how are ya? Can you help us smash this Tesla? I think we'll destroy it. <laughs> We're gonna just, there's not gonna be much of it left. Dude, that thing is huge. Yeah, that this bucket? Is, this is the bigger one on the last video, so this one's almost twice as big. Oh my gosh, that is a huge claw. I don't even know if you'll be able to recognize what that was. We're gonna set this GoPro right here inside of the car. It might get destroyed, but hopefully it captures the shot. We can recover it off of the SD card. Godspeed, GoPro. Oh boy, that thing, that bucket is massive. We lost the seat for sure. Wow. That's gone. The trunk being broke. We lost the trunk. The GoPro is turned upside down. What? Look at that, the seat just came out, but it wasn't a direct hit. I think we need to go again. Okay, take number two. Oh, it's pinching that tight. Oh, he went right through it. <laughs> this one's gonna be harder to get it to drop right. Shot. Check this out. The side is coming off right here. The GoPro, we're gonna leave there again. This side's coming off also. The hood started coming off. We're just gonna leave it right there. 
Check this out, inside of the bucket, that's where he pinched it. It is some type of wood. That's gonna get the GoPro on this one. Chuck, your Tesla car is holding up. Oh! Oh, we got the part of the rim came off. Oh, oh man, look at that. It's so high. That thing is so cool. Oh, okay, that oh, was okay. perfect. Yeah, he's smiling in there. That was good. This car looks amazing, and it actually kind of looks like a real Tesla now with the world's largest subwoofer inside of it. I mean, look how concaved it is right there. Look at that wheel. It's just smashed. The steering wheel is definitely off down in there. I don't know where the GoPro is. It's kind of on an angle now. Like this is leaning over this way. Push it. Oh, it still goes. I want to see how big the magnets are inside of it. You got it, Bobby. Smash it. Smash it. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, we're inside of it. Yeah, that did it. Look at that smile on his face. He's so happy inside there. Perfect. <laughs> oh my. All right, it is time to see what's inside of one of the world's largest subwoofers. Look at that, you can just take it off so easily. Dude, that smashed us so good. That just fell apart, disintegrated. <laughs> you had a big old smile oh on your face Look in there. Look how big those magnets are. Those are massive. Oh my gosh. Jolly. Well, it does have a 700 watt amp inside of it. I'm guessing it has something to do with this right here. There's the two speakers, the magnets that are separated by this wood. Holy hey, crap, those are heavy. That is one of here, the speakers. Look how heavy that is. Wow. It's heavier than you yeah. think they are. Look at that metal cone that's on the inside. You have all these coils. This is this part that like comes out and goes back in. Boom, 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 boom. That's like something from a car. I could try to. What? What? Oh! oh my God. It's yes. still covered in dirt. Oh! <laughs> I, didn't I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it. So it's all that wood. The only real electronics are on this side of it. That's where all the controls are. And then there's the control board right there, the PCB board. Oh! Okay. That's where the weight comes from. Look at that. When I push it, you can see the whole thing moving. Trying to take off this fabric stuff right here to get on the inside of the speaker. Oh. Okay. There's the inside. That's the the cone. With the cone is really yeah. light. It's super light. It's like some sort of plastic, but it's weird because it's all these rings that are put together. That's all machine solid steel. Oh my gosh. In order to get True Audio speakers, you have to get them through a distributor. So you can go to their website, I'll put a link in the description, and you can find a distributor in your area that can actually outfit your home with Select Series True Audio speakers. Yeah. We use the Heart Walker Automation guys that are here in Utah. They actually travel to a lot of the states here in the Western United States. So if you're in the Western United States and you want to work with Heart Walker, just let us know in the comments. We can connect you guys. Thank you, True Audio, for letting us destroy one of your speakers. Thanks to Bobby for helping us out on the excavator. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is uh, old-fashioned what's inside right here. And if you came to this video because you thought a legit Model S got smashed by a speaker that was as big as an actual Model S, sorry if we tricked you. It's just that's what happened and the picture looked really cool. So anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah. See you guys around. Eight hours of exposure to 85 decibel noise level and higher, it can cause memory loss or hearing loss. Memory loss would be awful too. But yeah. hearing loss, tinnitus. So as much as it is cool that we just blasted it all away, we probably shouldn't be doing that too often because yeah. we'll have some tinnitus and we will lose some hearing and that never recovers ever. My shoes, Lincoln. Thanks. Are you happy to bring them out there on this dirt? No. I think we need to go again.